<laughs> okay, thank you. It's uh, thank you for inviting me here. It's a pleasure to be so far away from home, I would say. So it's um, about the AI for cities. Uh, so let me move. Uh, okay, so this is already seen. Okay, the traffic. Oh, sorry. Okay, so. So, as you know, as I mentioned, I'm coming from Helsinki. It's, a, it's a, in Finland, in Northern Europe, and, and small country with the happiest in the world, and, and, and also known about uh, having the, the best quality of life. As it's a research result, as you know. Okay, good. And uh, it's good to know that we have 2.3 million saunas for just 5.5 million inhabitants. So, and a few words about myself. And so I'm, I'm a senior project manager in Forum Virium Helsinki and, and I work across several industries. And the common thread is that they all have been emerging and fast growing um, new areas. And recently I have been focused on projects involving data, artificial intelligence and, and uh, circular economy. I also led uh, the AI for Cities project, which ties into the topic of this lesson. So it's great to be here. So and and uh, I'm presenting here as well the city of city of capital city of Helsinki, the city of Finland, and with the 650,000 in, in, uh, inhabitants and 300 islands. So and so uh, and I'm working in Forum Virium Helsinki, which is a non-profit innovation company owned by the city of Helsinki, and, and it's one of the core actors of the city's innovation and sustainability development work. Uh, Forum Virium is a, uh, our mission is to implement the city's uh, smart strategies, focusing on areas such as a smart smart city, uh, smart mobility and, and data. And we employ over 50 experts and our annual project funding range from the six to 10 million euros, largely supported by European Commission and City of Helsinki. And we are, uh, oh, oops. Oops, 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 now I move. Okay, here. Oh, we deeply uh, we are deeply connected to several European development networks, and including the European Network of Living Labs and Open and Agile Smart Cities. And we also work closely with the Finnish Centre of Artificial Intelligence. Right now, we are involved in over forty national and international smart city projects, and and these projects are not only support the local goals, but also are aligned with broader EU policies and objectives outlined through the various funding programs. And then Helsinki, Helsinki is, a, is a mission of to become the most functional city in the world. To get there, we are focusing the, on smart city development that's about collaboration and user-driven innovations. We are involving cities, citizens and businesses in real-life pilot projects to test the ideas and make sure that the solutions we de developed together with the um, various stakeholders are practical and have a real impact. We have also the license to fail. Uh, uh, new technologies and the open data are the, in the heart of, of what we are doing, helping us building smart city that benefits everyone. The insight we gain from these pilots directly save how the city uh, develops and make investments in the future. Uh, our commitment to improving services through data is clear in how we use digital twins for urban planning. By making data public, we create space for innovative solutions that tackle challenges like sustainability, climate resiliency, and carbon neutrality using data-driven insights. And AI, it's placed a big role in sustainability, as we have heard many, many times already. It's a fast at processing, it's fast at processing data, highly accurate, 
uh, can run complex simulations and, and is res uh, resource efficient. The, the strengths make uh, AI a powerful tool to, in helping us to reach the sustainable development goals set, for example, by the United Nations. And Helsinki recognizes the, the potential. Oh, oops. No, it's stuck. Okay, but the next slide. Okay, okay, now it's go. So, so Helsinki has recognized the, the potential of AI very early, or at least one of the earliest uh, countries uh, or cities, and so already it's mentioned in the strategy already 2017. And in Helsinki, the, uh, the Helsinki focus on actions that lead to direct emission reductions, particularly in areas like heating and transport, which are the biggest emission sources in Finland. Instead of having separate climate actions or dedicated climate professionals with their own budgets, uh, they have integrated emission-related goals directly into the core processes. And this way, sustainability comes to a neutral part of the everything they do, not a separate initiative. And you see, already saw that, that picture, but the many European cities have set targets to become carbon neutral by uh, 2050 at latest. The most ambitious is Copenhagen, which wants to achieve it already next year, actually. Uh, let's hope that it will. Uh, will be succeeded. Or, um, average 84% uh, of co uh, CO2 emissions in the Western European cities comes from the energy and, and transportation, but it varies. And for example, in Helsinki, it's over uh, uh, 95%. And uh, AI is not a silver bullet, but we see that the AI can bring new options to predict and optimize decisions more efficiently. However, it can't solve the problems alone. Algorithms and the final decisions are always done by the human beings. And uh, let's move on to AI for Cities, that project which is already mentioned. So I will quickly share some examples from solutions we piloted during the project in Helsinki that are and uh, can uh, directly reduce emissions. One of these um, is uh, from Marshall AI, used AI to optimize the traffic flow which, uh, with machine vision. That system can identify different types of road users, including cyclists and pedestrians, reducing unnecessary stop and keeping traffic moving smoothly. Uh, at first glance, the reduction uh, numbers might seem uh, small, but uh, if we apply the solution for all 500 traffic lights in Helsinki, the impact would be much greater, especially while the most cars are still not elect electrical. And the second one, we tested uh, this solution to optimize energy consumption on buildings. AI helps to boost energy efficiency and make the most uh, of the um, renewable energy sources, which reduce the carbon footprint uh, of the city infrastructure. Additionally, this solution uh, has um, other advantages, uh, like that it's optimized energy use. It also enables the buildings to serve the storage capacity for renewable energy. And the last one, uh, it's the example. This example is from Norway, and uh, it's using AI to figure out when buildings will have too much solar energy. If you know that that it ahead uh, of time people can uh, plan how to use it better and we can really make the most renewable uh, of energy this kind of uh, services allow direct also direct peer-to-peer -peer markets between surplus producers and the cons consumers and uh, this last example is uh, how how we are now testing the ai and and uh, satellite data together uh, this project has just started recently. Uh, it's it's uh, testing how to leverage AI and satellite data can increase the city's overall resilience. 
This improves the management of public spaces, green areas, and transport, in, transport infrastructure, making cities smarter in re, uh, resource management. And then, so in the end, I would like to share with you some insight based on our exper AI experiences. Well, it's, it's uh, good to keep in mind that, that um, the needs be are before technology. Uh, and when undertaking new projects, a comprehensive approach is essential. We must consider both the technology aspect and the existing real-world needs. Furthermore, the a thorough, a thorough evaluation of the project purpose is crucial. We should ask ourselves what is necessary to for the, this AI solution. Where can it be implemented most efficiently? Addiction, additionally, it is necessary to consider the potential impact on the individuals and why the inherent assumptions, biases, or limitations we should be my, um, mindful of during its utilization. And, and tr um, Trying these pilots uh, out helps un us understand what AI can really do and how to use it safely. It is very important that we keep a close eye on how the AI is used. We check how well it works, if it's uh, being used ethically and, and the impact is ha um, it has on the environment. We want to be sure that the AI doesn't accident uh, by accident uh, have an unexpected bad effects uh, on people or our planet. And when it comes to oversight, we need to determine who is the responsible for renewing, um, reviewing the AI outputs before it uh, taking action. For evaluation, it's crucial for regulate assess how well AI performs and whether it is delivering um, the expected results. Lastly, we must ensure that AI systems are energy efficient to minimize their carbon footprint and avoid contributing to higher CO emissions. And in the end, uh, by working with the both residents and business, um, businesses, Helsinki aims to build a smarter, more sustainable and, and efficient city that works for everyone. And finally, I like to share a vision that emerged from the one of our smart city living lab projects in a new urban district called Kalasatama. When the technology truly serves the city and the residents the most efficiently way, uh, we gain one more hour a day. <laughs> That's our purpose. And thank you for your attention. And if you like to contact us, you found us QR code, we will, we will lead you to, to our website page where you can find my colleagues who are involved in that project, um, uh, new initiatives and project preparation. So thank you for time and attention. Thank you.